Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at rules in life people should follow. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Don't make fun of the way people pronounce words. Either your language is their second language or they learn the word by reading, both of which are to be commended. <laughs> I mispronounced so many words. I said priest instead of priest. Gotcha. Well, I love you guys though because you guys teach me new things every single time. Thank you. When someone's talking, don't spend the entire time formulating a response and waiting for them to shut up so you can talk. Listen. Oh my god. Wait. I think I do this sometimes. But it is mostly when I'm nervous, when you know your turn is next. You know when the teacher picks on someone and then, you know, you're going around the room or something and your turn is next, but your friend is talking. I'm not even listening to my friend. I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to say because I'm like, Oh my god, what do I say? I need to practice what I'm gonna say in my mind first. It's just like ordering a menu. I have to practice it in my mind first. If someone texts you while you're both in a room full of other people, do not respond out loud so everyone can hear you. Who would do that? Who would be like- Yeah, I agree with you, Janet. It's so loud. If you have to cancel on a friend, it should be your responsibility to reschedule. Mmm. Wow. That's true, huh? Don't point out if someone is blushing. They can't control it. They already know. And you're making it worse by drawing attention to it. I hate people like this. Oh my god, you're blushing so hard. Your face is so red. Don't comment on other people's food. I don't care if you think oysters look like boogers. <laughs> They're yummy and I want to enjoy them in peace. Yeah. Don't ever comment on other people's food. I never comment on your face. <laughs> never make fun of someone else's laugh. Be it how they sound or how they look. Laughing is the most natural expression of joy and happiness. And for someone to feel self-conscious about that because of other people's comments is so brutal. Oh, this happens to so many people. They just have a very distinct laugh and then people make fun of it and then they just don't want to laugh anymore. Like the self-conscious laughing. But you should never be self-conscious laughing. You're really going to take away someone's happiness just because you're a jerk. Seriously. Don't look through the gap of bathroom stores. Who does that? <laughs> Are you serious? Who looks through... What? If someone whispers, you whisper back. <laughs> I can't imagine someone being like, Hey. What's the date today? It's the 25th. Always share in someone else's excitement. It means the world to me when other people are excited about something for me. So I always try to do the same for others. That's so sweet. Don't touch a pregnant person's stomach. Like, stop. Who, really? People do that? I don't know if people did that. Oh my god, how many months are you? <laughs> Ew. Please do not use FaceTime or watch videos out loud on your phone in a restaurant or on public transportation. <laughs> That's so awkward. I always feel awkward when someone does that. Or when someone's in front of me and they're FaceTiming, right? And I'm walking behind them <laughs> and I'm just, you know, on their screen. Like their friend is just watching me walk behind them. And I just feel like I look so sus. Don't interrupt people who are trying to articulate a point. Oh, I hate people who do this. Do you know how hard it is to try to say something good <laughs> you know like at the same time when you're making a point you also want to be cool making the point you don't want someone else to interrupt you and then all of a sudden the point just doesn't seem that important anymore like you know you're trying to make your point and then someone else say something and then they're like oh yeah go ahead what will you say well i don't want to say it anymore because i just don't want to talk anymore okay don't talk to me don't propose at someone else's wedding unless the bride gives you the idea to propose because i know that happens with some people Always get permission first if you want to propose at someone else's wedding. But I don't know why you would want to propose at someone else's wedding. If someone offers you a breath mint, take one. No. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like mint. Is it really that rude to refuse food though? Because I feel like I always do that. But I guess it is polite to take an offer. I'm a bad person. I don't like a lot of minty stuff. Then you eat a mint and then you drink water and then it's just like whoosh. When you borrow something from someone, give it back to them as soon as you're done with it. Don't wait for the person you borrowed it from to hit you up and ask for it back. Oh yeah, if you're not really close to someone, I think, yeah. But if it's your best friend, take it, keep it, it's yours now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't go into the bathroom store right next to mine if there are available ones farther away. <laughs> Who even does that? Like, if I'm pooping, I don't want someone else to sit next to me. Don't brag about something that you know your friends don't have. Oh. Yeah, I always just don't feel the need to like say like, oh my god, I actually have it. Let people off the elevator first before you try to get on. 
Everyone should know this. I don't know anyone who doesn't do this. Oh, maybe some people do. That's just rude. Why would you do that? Don't download stuff onto someone else's computer or gaming console. I think this really does depend on how close you are with someone. Like if you're really close with someone, I think it's totally fine. And if they give it to you so you can use it and they don't really expect it back anytime soon, I think that's fine. But if they're only giving it to you for like a week so you could like do some stuff because you said you needed a computer to borrow, then yeah, don't be downloading stuff like that. Don't ask how somebody can afford something or how much they make. People actually do this? Oh wait, people do do this. Why? Why do you care? Whether I'm homeless or not, why do you care? <laughs> I'm kidding. Do not show up at someone else's home unannounced. Oh, I hate this the most. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Don't ever do this to me, please. Like seriously, I think it's just common sense for you to be like, hey, I'm coming over right now, are you home? Because I'm gonna drop something off. Because that's what my friend always does. She's always like, are you home? I'm gonna drop something off. And I love that. But don't just randomly come. What if I'm busy? I mean, I'm never busy, but like, what if I'm busy? I'm never busy, but like, what if I'm busy? Do not swipe left or right if someone shows you a photo on their phone. <laughs> I swear, so many people just do this though. They just don't follow this rule. They just look at one photo and they're like, oh, what is this? Oh my God, is that your butt? What is that? Don't ask for something if the person only has one left. People actually do this, really? You see that they have like one gum left in their packet and you're like can i have that no you cannot have it it's mine i mean unless i like you then you can have it but no be kind to people who are working food staff medical staff etc don't take your bad day out on someone else i agree they've done nothing to you don't be mean pee first no matter what it is pee first that's true before I go out anywhere, I take a piss first. Don't say something about someone's appearance if it can't be fixed in less than 30 seconds. Spinach in someone's teeth, let a homie know. Body type, bad haircut, worn out clothes, don't need to mention it. So rude. Why would you ever say something about someone's body type or like anything physical? If you make a mess, clean it up as soon as you can, especially if you live with other people. This is why I can't live with like random people, like roommates. Don't mess up an apology with an excuse. <laughs> Sorry, but figure out what you're going to order or buy before you're at the front of the queue. Oh, dude, I already know what I'm about to buy when I'm at home, dude. <laughs> I'm already like researching the type of menus they have. Don't ask people why they don't drink. I've had a few people ask me because I don't drink. It's always just, oh, why not? I don't really know what to say. I'm just like, I don't like the taste. <laughs> That's it. I have good taste buds, seriously. I like juice. Don't give someone's phone number or other contact information to someone else without their permission. Oh yeah. People actually do this? Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.